Hi everybody, this is Kelly Leahy, the tech coach at Collins Intermediate. And I'm here to do a short video helping you understand how to use Bitmoji right now. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go ahead and find Bitmoji in your app store. It looks like this. It's the green uh, background with the white text bubble and the smiley face. Once you download it, you're going to make an account. And then as you make the account, the system will lead you through creating your first avatar. So mine's already created, but let me just help you here. The middle has a, a, a topic, a category, I guess would be a better word. The bottom also has a symbol that's the same thing. So it doesn't matter which way you go, either tapping forward and back in the middle at the top of that white box or at the bottom where there are symbols to represent. So the first one is skin tone. After you pick skin tone, you tap on the hair. Don't forget that you can scroll back and forth. You can also scroll up and down. Um, the next one is hair treatment. And again, there's a lot of different ways you can uh, move back and forth between those tiny little arrowheads at the top of the white box. And then you're gonna keep choosing. So if you don't like what you see, go ahead and tap on something else. Eye color, you can spend a lot of time kind of experimenting. Maybe you want purple eyes. I'm gonna keep with brown. And then your eyebrows, and you're just gonna keep going. So eyebrow color. I'm gonna swish over to the right. That's how that menu at the bottom is moving. So I keep moving through all of the choices that I can make. And then eventually we'll get to uh, clothing. So you can choose clothing. And that's, don't forget shoes. That's something I usually forget. And then I have to go back and fix it. That closet really is like your clothes, the outfits that you've chosen. So once you pick outfits, the system will remember what outfit. And then that checkbox at the bottom is like you're done. So yes, save avatar. Um, the next thing is um, you're going to search for the little uh, Bitmoji sticker. So I'm typing in the word happy. I'm looking for a Bitmoji that is like full size, like this one over here with the number one pointer. I like that. So I'm going to tap on that. And there's two things that you can do here. You, if you have your Google Drive on your phone, you can scroll or swish over to the right and then choose the more, those three dots. And then you'll see that drive. It'll ask you for your account. You choose the account. If you only have one on your phone, then it probably won't choose. It won't ask you to choose, but if you have more than one, then we'll ask you. All right, so since I'm here already, I'm gonna pick uh, another one. So let's say I want this one also in my, in my digital classroom image. So this time I'm gonna mail it to myself. So I'll hit the mail. Maybe you have Outlook connected. So if you're an Outlook user, Yahoo Mail, and the same thing happens. You go to, you go to your mail and then you type in your email and then you're going to um, email it to yourself. And that goes pretty easily. All righty. And on that, I'm just gonna cancel out because I wanna save some time. So those are two ways you can get your, uh, your Bitmojis. You can either email or you can do it directly from your, uh, to your Google Drive if you happen to have that on your phone. All right, thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.